Good morning, everyone. It's an honour to be here as we say a formal farewell to our good friend, the iconic Bayswater Bridge. I too would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we are meeting, the Wajak people of the Noongar Nation, and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. I'd also like to um, acknowledge my fellow councillors who are here today, Councillor Sally Palmer, Councillor Josh Eason, Councillor Michelle Sutherland, Councillor Suntamaleka, Councillor Dan Bull, Councillor Georgia Johnson, and Councillor Lorna Clark. Uh, thank you to the Honourable Rita Sakiotti, MLA Minister for Transport, and Lisa Baker, MLA Member for Maylands. It is with pleasure that I receive, on behalf of the City of Bayswater, the famous 3.8 metre clearance sign and other memorabilia. We promise to cherish these wonderful pieces of history and share them along with the countless numbers of anecdotes, photos, articles, and even songs written about the Baysy Bridge. As we say goodbye to our old Baysy Bridge and her truck eating ways and make way for the excitingly new and innovative accessibility, please think about everyone affected by the necessary disruption and continue to support our businesses however you can. Congratulations to everyone involved in bringing us the new Baysy Bridge. There has been an enormous amount of work done and there's still more to do on this project. Today's celebration is an important part of making this an a historical occasion. Thank you and enjoy the day. Hi everyone, I won't keep you for much longer. There's a queue for the sausage sizzle and you want to get into it. Thank you to the Mayor. Most importantly, thank you to Rita Sapiotti, our Minister. But to see all of your faces here and to know that it's been a long haul getting here and to just see how wonderful my community is and how on side and pushing for this you are. It's wonderful, I welcome you all and thank you so much and I hope you use that sign as it should be used, probably in the council room. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Thank you very, very much, ladies, uh, to the Minister and to MLA member for Maylands, Lisa Baker, and of course, the City of Bayswater Mayor, Philomena Pifferetti as well. A historic piece of memorabilia there. A reminder of what was, and I'm sure a lot of truck drivers look at that low clearance sign, 3.8 metres, and have nightmares over it. But luckily, we won't see any more of that to come. Now, I will mention it again, Metronet, and of course, all of us here today, we're celebrating the official farewell. We've heard it many times of the infamous Bayswater Bridge and its connection to the local community. Now, aside from segments of the old bridge being incorporated in landscaping around the new station, This is 172054, sorry, 1754 now. A different bus to yesterday's 1559. And this one still got a lot of the original transport seats. 
Oh, actually no, I think they retrofitted it with gas bus seats, so it's pretty cursed, because it's an NH with gas bus seats at the back. Yeah, it is, see? Oh my god! It's an NH with gas rusty. Oh, it's Aiden. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, so. They got, yeah, good. So they got these weird seats. These are like flat, like 21 seats. And then gas bus. Like, what? This just. And then the back's NH seats. <laughs> <laughs> this, this this makes no sense. No <laughs> oh, wow, so many more people than yesterday. Yeah, so very cursed having 1754 with the gas bus seats. Anyway, I already filmed the route yesterday, so just go to that video. I'm not gonna film it again. But this bus did crash into the sign at Melbourne because the turn is so tight. Like it hit the sign over. Yeah. So. Yeah. And what's that? Broken bell. Look. <laughs> the bell. Anyway, I'm just gonna go over to Melbourne and see. And Rex is out there too. And Aiden. Let's go. Guys, there's the sign. The bus hits. He's just <laughs> leaning over now. Oh, it's a bus. Oh, what? Is that Bangor? Why is there cones there now? Oh, they don't Here's the tight turn. Here's the tight turn. Next thing you know, they're going to take this out. Can it do it? This time? Oh, oh, oh. Ah oh, yes, he did it much faster than yesterday. Why is there cones there now? It just stops here now, it doesn't even pull in. Anyway. Yeah. Meldum station. Is that 52 in the airport line? Hi we can BS. Is that 20 and 14 to Perth in the middle line? Imagine we hit it again. <laughs> Just missed it yesterday. Yeah, well it was hit before. So. Oh yeah, we would have hit it again if it was still in the line. Yeah, if it was still like standing. Okay, let's go again. Melbourne Station.
Airport line, view the Lake Street underpass. To keep the schedule. There he goes. Well, that's 48, leaving at the new bridge. The only bus to come here now. And that was the community event. They will be duplicating the bridge, obviously, for the Allenbrook line, with the second one to come along next week, but that's not going to open in September yet, so that's probably about it now for Bayswater updates. There won't be any more for a while now, since nothing is really going to change anymore, apart from further development of the station. So, thanks for watching. And, yeah, that's really about it now. Bye. Oh, another train. A series, two car, two car A series to Midland. Because it's Sunday, so yeah, they have little two cars. Mm, yeah. So, just finishing this video here in the bush, just wanted to give a little shout out to Angus, who was a little boy we met at Dome Cafe Maylands yesterday, so on Saturday, on the reopening of the lines. After we finished filming, me and Riley, um, and he really enjoyed meeting us because he likes our the channel a lot, and just it'll mean a lot to him to be shouted out in this video. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. But thanks for watching the whole Bayswater series. Yeah, as I already said. Yeah. Now there's a lot of other exciting events to come in the next few weeks. Every weekend we have something major happening. Next weekend we have the express trains on the Freeman, I mean airport line, and then the week after we have the C series testing, and then we have the uh, heritage line shutdown on the 28th, and the free travel then starts the next weekend, the monthly free travel Sundays, and then the next weekend is the Lakelands opening, which is the final exciting weekend. <laughs> in this streak and it's a very very exciting one indeed um yeah so that's all of that okay